let's consider two scenarios. One in which a customer enters a store and doesn't find what they're looking for. What would they do? They would just leave the store and go to the competition. In the other scenario, let's think of the shop owner. They have products in the store, but nothing seems to sell. They're turning a loss. The key aspects in both of these scenarios is assortment optimization. Assortment optimization is a framework that helps businesses understand which products they should choose to sell in a store. These decisions can be made on the basis of various factors and constraints, such as historic demand, predicted demand, the store's available space, and the budget. These factors and constraints applied to a robust assortment optimization-based retail strategy would lead to better profits at the store level, which would eventually lead to better profits at the company level. To add to that, it could lead to a simplified supply chain and improved procurement. Optimization exercise, we have to first set up the mathematical problem statement or the objective function in this case. Since we have approximately 5,000 stores across the United States of America and each store has around 10,000 SKU outlay to choose from, we go with the objective function of maximizing profits, which is given by beta ij, which is our decision variable, multiplied by the predicted demand y ij, multiplied by the difference between the price of each SKU minus the cost of acquisition for each SKU. Now every business has constraints to work from and in our business there are three sort of constraints that we were really trying to optimize. First, uh, the volume constraint, that means that each store would have a maximum sort of uh, shelving space from which the SKUs could be sold. Secondly, a, maxim a maximum budget constraint, each store will have a maximum budget. And lastly, a minimum coverage constraint, which means that minimum number of SKUs should be present in each store for it to be representable of the broad, broader population. So we created a stratified sample by choosing the top and the bottom performing stores from each of the seven regions among the 5,000 stores data that we had. After choosing the data and writing the code in the Python, uh, we found out three results. The first one is reducing the SKU mix by 4.5%. Secondly, we realized that we need to change the space allocated to the three categories. Battery space should increase by 4%, brakes to decrease by 2%, and then filters to decrease by 3%. Thirdly, we expect a potential increase in the profit by 11.24% uh, post-optimization across the sample stores. It was amazing in the sense that uh, different kind of perspectives were put from the mentors as well as the client as well as within the team. 